Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I know that we are a little bit into May already but I wanted to do my palette ranking for the month of April 2024 because uh, I know that um, a lot of people seem to like this video so we're gonna go ahead and do it. So and anyway, this is where I take all the palettes that I used in the previous month and I rank them and I start from my least favorite and go up to my most favorite that I used during the month and I just kind of review them and go over with them. Truth be told, I like, I, I pretty much like all my palettes, although there is one in here I'm considering maybe decluttering this gives me a chance to like use my palettes that are in my stash and decide you know are they worth keeping around stuff like that so yeah it keeps me cycling through my palettes so uh truth be told i really haven't pulled out <laughs> my palettes for me yet i've just been, pu been pulling them out one by one so we'll see i'll, I'll get these mm, i should i try I try to pull out the palettes before I put these palettes back because their stuff pretty full. <laughs> these makeup drawers, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably put these in a box because I don't know, it's already near the end of the day and I'm rambling. Uh, okay, all right. We'll see how, how this gets edited. <laughs> okay, anyway, if you wanna see the 25 palettes that I used in April, then hang tight because we're gonna get into it okay it wouldn't be a video of mine if i didn't ramble a little bit i would it okay so let's start off with number 25 which is the color pop lemon cello palette i used to love this palette i used to love this palette a lot but i don't know i've had it for going on two or three years now and it's just not aging very well the yellows just aren't yellowing <laughs> very well anymore and I never really like this blue color in here I do like yellows and browns but in golds together but I have that a million times over in my collection and so many other palettes do it so much better than this one does so I don't know I think I might be passing this one along so might see that in a declutter Okay, net number 24, we've got, I know, I, I hate seeing this so low. It's the Gourmand Girls a Secret Cove, Grove, Secret Grove palette. I did get this in a subscription box. And I'm just, the color story, maybe it's just this time of year that it's just not really, I'm just not really digging it. And it only has the two, these are very nice shimmers, but there's only the two. And these two colors right here are basically the same color when you put it on the eyelid, the sage and mori color. And these two colors, boho and poppy, they're not that much different from one another, really. The two, the two looks I did with this, I just wasn't, they just, mm, wasn't for me. It seems like, and this, this color is, the oil is leaking around it. I'm, mm, I don't know. Bewitching and Euphoria, they're nice. They're nice shimmers, but I wish they were. I do like a matte heavy. Don't get me wrong. I like mattes. I like, I do prefer mattes over shimmers, but I can't really think of too many all matte looks to do with this palette. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't feeling it. This palette is going nowhere. Believe me, I love a good mushroom house. A good so I mean this palette is definitely stay, staying in my collection I mean I just wasn't feeling it this month I don't know I just wasn't inspired by that palette and at number 23 we've got the revolution makeup revolution this is their pink Prosecco palette this palette was fine this palette was fine there's just nothing special about this palette um again there's very similar shades in this palette uh it's got a good matte to matte to shimmer ratio and um, i got this in that makeup revolution advent calendar back in december whenever i got that and i mean it makes good good looks good solid looks it's just there's nothing special about it there's nothing special about it at all and um 
I have other palettes just like it, just like it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Will it survive a... It'll survive a declutter, but if I did a deep declutter, might not survive that. Okay. Next, we have some... I like these two palettes. This palette, I like a little less. These are both from an Earthly Cosmetics. This, we're getting into palettes that I really do like. It's just... A bit, damn, I had a lot of good palettes this month. I really did like this palette. I don't really have much bad things to say about it, except that I probably wouldn't wear this as an everyday palette. This would be like a collab kind of palette that I would use. Uh, what what did I use this for? I just used this to make a look because I got this as a new palette. I got this for like $10 or something from the Unearthly Cosmetics because they were doing a big old sale like a 50% off sale and yeah I got this for like 10 15 dollars so yeah I wasn't passing that up so I like that but I like this palette a little better the sleepover palette I can use this palette I can make work appropriate looks with this palette this palette I like the color story a lot better I like the shimmers nothing nothing revolutionary about this palette though Though I do like the colors. I do like the color story. Nice pink color story. A lot, lot uh, more, more exciting of a color story than like that pink Prosecco palette. So I like those two. I like Unearthly Cosmetics a lot. I really do. But there's nothing, nothing remotely special about those two palettes. You know what I'm saying? But I do like, I do like the smaller color story, the more curated color stories. This, this is just a, a magnetic palette, but they house my Sydney Grace and a few other, a few other, but we're more interested in these right here. Um, this is the In Mel's Memory collection of singles from Sydney Grace. And they're good. They're good. I like them. It makes a nice pink, pink and green look. I like pink and green a lot. And as far as Sydney Grace, they're not like my favorite. Like some people's, they just don't work that great for me. Uh, I do like this, this shade right here. What is this shade? Uh, I hesitate to pick it up, but it's called Green Mist. It's like a, a white green, um, iridescent this worked great for the great for the inner eye and um, the inner inner corner highlight great for that and it has some nice pinks it's got some nice browns in it I don't have a lot of pink and green palettes so that's why I like this one I do like this one the great amount I don't know does Sydney Green still sell that collection of singles Sydney Grace Sydney, am I saying Sydney Green I meant Sydney Grace and uh, Sydney Grace sells a lot of singles, a lot of single sets, but they do have palettes as well. Uh, and a good solid palette from ColourPop is the So Fly. I liked it. I liked it. Um, what what can I say about this though? Like I said, nothing nothing that special about it. I haven't really tried this color. Um, this like green, blue, green shimmer here. So I, I really haven't gotten a full sense of this palette, but I do like the peach and browns. I like I like this shimmer, this shimmer right here, and this for the inner corner. So I mean, it's just a good neutral palette with a pop of color for you right there. So this so fun. So all of these are just kind of. They're okay, palettes. They're okay. Nothing, nothing great. Nothing special about them. So now we're getting more into palettes that, yeah, I really like these palettes. Um, this palette I gave a second chance to because, uh, I don't know why I was keeping that color saver. Because I was mainly playing, trying to get these, these colors to work like this green and this bluish this bluish color i was trying to get those to work and i was totally ignoring the purples like uh this purple and this purple and this purple and then i finally said okay i'm giving up on these colors i'm gonna play with the purples and when i did i finally like, okay now i get why i need to keep this palette it's for the purples but 
okay just stop just stop trying to make these colors a thing stop just stop okay and just play with the purples okay and this palette made Ed really awesome awesome look for a nighttime look for a nighttime look a nice nighttime purple look it's really really awesome actually I'm not using any of these palettes on my eyes today I'm using the Hershey's Hershey's Cookies and Creams by Glam Light on my eyes. This palette is going to be like one of the number one palettes for next month. I'm telling you what. But no, I'm not using any of today's palettes on my eyes. So this palette, yes, a definite yes. I'm glad I decided to keep it. And for the next palette, I don't know what number we're on, but I'm keeping track on the screen here. Next, I have the Jeffree Star Pink Religion palette. The only thing I will say about this palette, the only thing I say about that palette is I can't make, I can only make like a nighttime look. The only thing I'll say about this palette is there's only three shimmers in it. Like I said, I do like a lot of mattes, but I do like, I do like it when there is a good balance a good balance of shimmers and mattes and this only has three shimmers in it although i will give it to them there's a dark a medium and a light shimmer but um which i like to do a dark a medium a dark a medium and, and then a light in my inner corner so i've got it's got me covered on that but i like choices i would like to have some choices please and I love me some pinks. And the thing I like about this palette is I was thinking before I tried it out this month, I was thinking I could only use this for like when I wanted to do really wild out there Barbie looks. But I pulled this on a palette roulette and I had to get ready in the morning for work. And I'm like, how am I going to make a work appropriate look with this palette? And I managed to do it. I managed to do it. So I'm very proud of myself that we did that so really like that palette okay the next palette is a palette that i have had for a couple of years now that i really like from beauty creations it is the from the marillo twins collab it is the britney palette and i have this i think this was also pulled on a palette roulette i want to say the only palette the only thing about it is the silver shade i will never use that silver shade i think i've poked in it a couple of times with my with my brush to try to use it as an inner corner highlight but it it looked awful when i did that in the past so but i will say mm, i'm never going to use that silver shade but all these other shades they are they are absolutely beautiful so especially this purple here and I, i've made blue looks with this before not this time but i have in the past and that shimmer there this has one two three four shimmers five if you count the silver so i think that's a good that's a good mix there this makes beautiful pink purple blue looks and it's got the it's got um what am i pointing to neutrals in here as well <laughs> I'm just pointing indiscriminately. Okay. So, love this palette. Like how it looks, too. Like how it looks. And then we have a Nomad palette that I really like. It used to be my favorite Nomad palette back in the day before they started putting out even better palettes. This is the Nomad Haunted Europe palette. They are going to be re releasing this back again when it comes Halloween time, I think. It's a very nice palette, but you know, I'm thinking I might want to repurchase it because maybe they've updated the formula because some of the more pigmented colors in here have kind of lost their pigmentation, which is kind of sad, it kind of makes me kind of sad, but this this comes one of those palettes that kind of scared me for a while because I mean, look at it, look at all those colors and you're thinking, what? What kind of look would I make with this palette? But if you really sit down and work with it. <laughs> I have some palettes in my collection that I am totally afraid of still to this day. And that I've only used like once. And I'm going to try to do a series of like palettes that I'm afraid of. I'm going to pull them out and try to make a look with them. Let me know what you think of that idea. But this one... I really like but like I said the only thing is I think some of the colors are losing their pigmentation if you have this palette 
and I've used it recently. Let me know what your experience with it is. Okay, the next palette I have is this gorgeous palette from Gucci and it's called the Gorgeous Gorgeous Palette. It's called the Gorgeous Flora Palette. And it's not up there, you would think. Well, it's a it's a luxury palette. Jennifer, why isn't it higher up? Because these shades, there's nothing luxury about these shades. They're just basic run-of-the-mill shades. There's no special shades in here at all. It's a very good formula. Very pretty. I love these blue shades here. Love these blue shades. And I want to try this one, this one next. But I mean, it's just a basic formula. That That's a really good inner corner highlight there. I, it's basically ranked as high as it is because look at this gorgeous packaging. I do not recommend this palette unless you are totally into packaging. It's like Pat McGrath Crisis, but higher and um, without the special shades. So this is the Gucci Gorgeous Flora palette. I don't know if I said that. And it comes with this little dust bag, I guess, which gets dirty really easily around here it does. But um, there's nothing special about the formula. It's a good formula. And, and nothing wrong with the formula. But um, does not. It's just you're paying for the price. You're paying for the name. And you're paying for the packaging. And that's about all there is to say about that. Okay. For the next palette. I have the Fantasy Cosmetica. Now. This palette. Is worth the price. Because you've got special shades in here. And yet. There's nine, nine, sh only nine shades, but you're not paying, you're not paying outrageous prices for these duo chromes and trio chromes and multi chromes and stuff like that. But you're, you're making like a really wow bang in your face look with these palettes. This is called the Fighter. I don't know if I said that, but it's from Fantasy Cosmetica and it's called the Fighter. And this is what it looks like. Very pretty. I love the look that I made with this. I have other palettes from them. I have the Rogue, the Druid, and um, I have a couple others, but I think I have four in total from them, but this one is definitely one of my favorite ones. Okay, another Nomad palette, which I'm glad, this was one of the palettes that I was afraid of using, that I'm glad I gave a chance to, because it is an absolutely, look at that story, does that not scream, oh my god, what the heck am I supposed to do with this palette? <laughs> this is the Monteverde Cloud Forest, it's so colorful, but once you get over your, uh, once you get over your nerves after looking at this palette and you actually dip in, just take it one color at a time and they just blend so perfectly together and you make an amazing, you make an amazing look. I can't remember exactly what colors I used. You can just make an all green look if you want to. I'm pretty sure I used this resplendent Quetzal. Is that how you say that? I don't know, but... I'm pretty sure I used that color and I definitely used this blue Morpho because I can tell I used that. I probably made a blue look, probably made a blue and green look actually. I can't remember. I can't, I don't remember what colors I used, but I remember I loved the look that I made. What did I do with this pot? Oh, I need to, I make a list of what palettes I use, but I don't remember. I don't make a list. I make. I also keep a list of what videos I've done, but I've I've already. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. I have to go back and look. Okay, the next palette is another Nomad palette. It's the Fest de Provence. I don't. I don't know how you say that, but this is another one of my. What I, I don't want to keep saying one of my favorites. But this is one is definitely up there, and I used this one twice. I made a I made a look using mostly the yellows and the pinks, and then a and then a look using mostly the blues, and I loved both the looks. Loved both the looks equally, and yeah, it's got two rows of mattes and one row of shimmers, which I think that's I think that's fair. That's a fair balance. 
so you get like one each one color each of the um the shades and a shimmer so yeah like a light and a dark and then a shimmer so yeah i think that's a good that's a good ratio so yeah this very good the good nomad formula this and the this and the monteverde a, a couple years old now a couple years old and still holding up really really well this is like their s tier their s tier formula i would say okay we still got a lot of palettes to go okay next is the um okay it, okay hold on hold on it's the orgy palette from jeffree star but it doesn't look <laughs> i don't know i i can't i can't tell people what shades i'm wearing because i mean these names i can't get over these names anyway if you know you know okay but it looks it looks like a very boring palette, but sometimes you need a boring palette. Sometimes you need a boring palette. And um, I have like shimmer shade singles, like this one from Moira, which is the Lucent Cream Shadow in the shade Phoebe that I use on my eyes for this one. Or I'll just use it in the inner corner or something like that. But this formula, I mean, you cannot say what you will about the man, but the man's formula is second to none. I'm telling you what, I don't have like all of his palettes, but the few that I do have, I really, really, really enjoy. They're not up there with some of the brands I really like, but it's a solid, it's a solid formula. And if you need a warm browns palette, I would recommend that palette. Okay, in the next spot, I think we're in our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that marks the top 10, the start of the top 10, my very highest palettes. Okay, one of my favorite ColourPop palettes is the Mandalore, or the, the Child palette. The Baby Yoda, the Grogu, Grogu, I don't know what his name, I never saw the show, but I love, I love, I love this. <laughs> I just like the theming of it. But if you want like a green brown look on your eyeballs, then I don't know why I like saying that then this palette will not disappoint you at all I used this for a going out look I think in the evening time and like I said it does not disappoint at all I think when this goes up I don't think Colourpop will still be doing their 20% off Star Wars but I did put I, I did put over the weekend that they were doing a May the 4th sale so um hopefully you got your um star wars stuff when they were having their may the 4th sale so i did do a may the 4th look on saturday so the next palette that i have is the glam light frosted flakes palette oh my god look at this Pro half of you are probably saying what that's ugly <laughs> When I first saw this palette, the when I very first saw this palette, I thought that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Blue and orange, are you kidding me? I would never put blue and orange together in my life on my eyelids. Why are you trying to sell this to me, Glamite? Five dollars, I said. Put it in my cart. Put it in my cart. I'm buying it. Put it on my eyes. Damn. That looked good. Blue and orange look good together. You guys. You have to try it to believe it. I didn't believe it until I put it on my eyelids. But yes. I'm slowly reluctantly becoming a fan of glam light <laughs> I don't I don't know I just did not like them at first but I'm starting to get their deals I got like all four of the happy hour palettes for forty dollars I did buy the Scooby Doo palette for I think I got it a little bit of a discount I bought 
the the one thing I didn't like was the Michaela tin pan palette. Could not could not get that to work for me for in, work for anything. So I passed that along. What came next? The Happy Hour palettes. I put aside the Scooby Doo palette. Got the Happy Hour palettes. Absolutely freaking beautiful looks with those. So I'm like, okay, I'm good with glam. I'm good. Caught them on a flash sale. Five five dollars. Heck to the yeah, I'm buying a five dollar palette. <laughs> then they had another flash sale and I got this palette. The um Hershey's cookies and cream palette. Blue and silver. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. You've got me, Glam Light. You've got me. But I'm still not paying retail prices for you. Keep those keep those um, flash shells coming, though. Okay. This palette. Definitely. Definitely recommend that palette. Okay. All right. I'm done kissing Glam Light's butt. Okay. You happy, Glam Light? You got me. Okay. Next up. <laughs> I've got the more y'all know I like Moira. I like Moira stuff. This is their Magic Dreaming palette. Again, a very colorful palette, but I was able to make it. This is another. This was another pull from the palette roulette, and I was able to make a really, a really great look. They they've got a great for a drugstore brand. They have got a very good brand. They've got. They've got like, this is like an um, indie brand quality. I would say, in my opinion, this is like indie quality formula for a drugstore price. That's just my opinion though. And that's Moira, that is, and they, they have such cute theming too. I love their theming. Okay, next, nobody's gonna be surprised, is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. Not my favorite. Not my favorite Natasha Denona palette. I thought it was the retro palette. But if you need some more, people say this is cool toned. I don't really necessarily agree. I think this is more neutral. Neutral, I think. Neutral, leaning, cool, I would say. But it makes a damn good look. It, I, I um, picked it over Jeffree Star because it does have shimmers in it and it does have some nice textured shimmers in it. So I picked it over that. If, if there's nothing else I can think of to use and I don't feel like using number one, which I'll pick number the number one every day, every day, all day. <laughs> Anytime I can't think of what palette to use, I'll pick number one, which is probably the most favorite, my most favorite palette in my collection. But if I don't feel like using that palette, I'll pull out this palette. But, um, so why isn't it number two? Because, I don't know, I just felt like these other ones deserve the prize. Which is the Saints Angel Sinners. This Namaste High palette has some of the prettiest, prettiest shimmers, I think. They, and they, they are like giving away their palettes. They, Darcy, why are you giving away your palettes? This is her, part of her 420 series. This is the um, Saints Angel Sinners X Funny Butter. And um, yeah, Mira Say More is very pretty. You can make a neutral look. I, I think I used this twice, actually. And I made like a more neutral look. And then I used these more greens over here to make a look. So very pretty. I love this indie brand so, so much. So, so pretty. And this is the second palette that was in the collab. This is the, it's got a heck of a name though. It is the Look Like Barbie, Smoke Like Marley. And it's got the little rabbits smoking their little joints there. <laughs> it is not subtle. Okay, this one, this one. Look how look how much I dug into those. This one, it's got the pinks and the purples. So, of course, I'm going to rank this one higher. The shades on this one are just... Mwah, love them, love them, love them, love them. And um, Darcy, you did such a great job on these two palettes. Mm. can't say enough about them okay and at number three i have got the i don't know why i put it back in its packaging 
it is the Sunlit Seduction Mothership number 10 from Pat McGrath. This is like my ultimate. I'm going out on a date. I need to look good palette. So this is the palette. I, you know, this is the palette you pay the money for. Even though I, I wait till they have their 30% off sales. And then I buy. Then I spend the money for it. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought the gorgeous floor palette. I don't know. I was having a weak moment when I bought that palette. This is the this is the palette you spend the money on, and yeah, it has the special shades. I'll, although, if I have two of these palettes, I have this and I have the Utopian Dream. I would go for the Utopian Dream. I did a I did a video where I was comparing the two, and um, y'all all said. You like the Utopian Dream better. I kind of like the Sunlit Seduction better, but y'all were all saying Utopian Dream. So I'm going to suggest that y'all might like the Utopian Dream better than the Sunlit Seduction. So that's the one I'm going to suggest to y'all to get. But, um, so that is number three palette. Number two, oh my gosh, this came out of left field and just bonked me right in the head. This is the Nomad New Zealand Stargazing Palette. I think, and I'm going to give you a big spoiler alert, this is my favorite Nomad Palette. The look, the looks I made with this, some of my favorite that I've ever made. And I will say that loud and proud. And that's just from using it a few times. I love this color story. I love these shimmers. This is their top quality. I don't know where they went wrong with some of those palettes. But they have come back, and they've come back strong. In this, this palette is a testament to how great Nomad can be when they want to be. So yeah, this palette, I love it. It's themed their 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 destination. Their destination is New Zealand, and yeah, if you love colorful palettes, like pur purple and pink themed palettes, they have some neutral colors in here too. They have, they have like three neutral colors, see, right there. So, but if you like this color scheme, this is a great formula, very great formula. Definitely number two, but nothing will ever beat my favorite palette in my collection, which is from Manny MUA himself, from Lunar Beauty, it is the Nude Prism palette. You know, when I first got this palette, I almost got rid of it because I thought, it's too boring. This palette, this palette is, makes the most beautiful matte looks, most beautiful looks with the shimmers. Granted, I don't use all the shades in this palette, but especially when I'm going to make an all matte look, this is the palette that I pull out. And um, like I said, I don't use all the shimmer shades either, but the ones I do use, I absolutely love. I love this one right here, this um, cam, Sam, the Sam color. And I always use this color right here. This so icy look in my inner eye. Or my, I always say my inner eye. My inner corner eye. Inner corner. Or I'll use this sock, this um, bare color on my inner corner. I just, I just really like this palette. And if this is ever, if this is ever, if I ever use this in the month, this is going to be number one. <laughs> this is going to be number one unless... Unless something comes in and seats it, I guess. It's very dirty. I know. It's got this mascara mark on. I don't care. I don't care. I still love it. <laughs> Alright, those are all 25 of the palettes that I used in the month of April 2024. Let me know what you think. Do you have any of these palettes? What do you think of them? And um, what are some palettes that I should check out? Anybody having a flash sale? Anybody... Um, having a good sale lately that I should know about because I'm I'm all into buying buying the cheap makeup these days and um yeah even I even got that gorgeous floor on a sale I bought it during the Sephora sale and um yeah so I'm I'm sticking to my resolution that I'm only buying makeup on sale these days so okay all right I will see you guys in the next video. Good vibes to everybody out there. Thank you for sticking through this whole video if you did. And okay. All right. See you later. Goodbye. Okay,